Hi guys, um, I've taken a picture uh, with my camera of my illustration and I have used AirPlay, AirDrop, to share it with my computer. So I'll go over how you do that, but um, now you can see uh, here it is in my downloads. Um, so I can double click on that and open it up. Um, you sort of see uh, there it's landed so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it and I'm going to move it so I'm going to go through um, and save this onto my hard drive so uh, once you select your uh, hard drive um, you will open it up and you're basically going to do uh, I'm going to save this one just on my desktop for now but you want to save this stuff onto your hard drive so I'll go new folder um, within that I'll go um, image development and this might be the beginning of image development one um, projects so we'll create and now that now I know that it's going to land in image development so within that, I'm going to go new folder again. I'm going to go penguin sketches. So that way I don't have a bunch of um, files and images floating around image development. I actually know that the, the penguin sketch is going to um, be saved in there. So we'll do that and I'll close it. And then um, just underneath here, I've opened up an Illustrator document, and uh, so it's just eight and a half by eleven, so letter size. Now all I have to do is go File, Place, and then I just need to go find the folder that is Penguin Sketches. Um, the one thing that I forgot to do is uh, save it as a JPEG or save it as a TIFF. So I'm just gonna—I uh, just have to open up my Photoshop for one second. Bear with me. So I had some obscure um, um, format selected, so that's my fault. Typically, you um, when you scan this, you can scan it as a JPEG, um, and that will be good enough. So now that I've saved it as something obscure, I just have to go in and I rename it. So I'm just opening up Photoshop, and you won't necessarily have to do um, all of this. So just bear with me for one second while I, uh, as I fix it. Just opening it. So I'm going to file, save as, and I'm just going to change the, the format. I'm just going to save this as a JPEG. I'm going to save it right back in the same folder. So then when I'm in Illustrator, I can go File, Place, and it's just waiting for it to land in there. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to. There. Okay. So, sorry. You won't need to do any of that. So File, Place, and then you can see the JPEG. I'll go Place, and I'm just going to click once on there. And you'll see it comes in at a huge size because of the resolution. So I'm just going to go over to my scale tool, you know, shift option, click on it, and I'm just going to make it like 25% size. And you can see that that brings it right down. And you can continue to bring it down until it, it fits on there. Or you can use the free transform tool. So now I have um, one of my sketches done. And I'm just going to scale him down. And then say I did all three sketches. I would bring them in, place them side by side, and now I'm ready um, to upload this to Moodle. So in Illustrator, I would go File, Save As. Now again, uh, we want this to be in the Penguin sketches, so I'm going to go um, Penguin Final Sketches. And then I'm going to save it as an AI file like that. And that will give me my base file to work with. And it will remember where the 
uh, images are. So it will, it will um, find them each time I open up the Illustrator document. But as soon as I save it, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Save As. Uh, it's just saving, sorry. So File, so it's still saving, sorry. So you can see in my menu, there it is. I'm going to change Illustrator to PDF. And these are typically the, the types of files that you're going to be uploading in most of your classes. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to keep the same name, but it's going to, you'll see on the end, it's going to add PDF to it. So it makes it a different file than the AI file. So now I'm going to go save. And it's going to ask me how, how big do you want it? So with this one, it, um, I want it to be as small as possible. So press quality means you could actually print it at, at a printer. And I often use that when I'm doing final projects. But for a comp like this, I'm going to go smile, uh, file, smallest file size and go save um, PDF. So now it's going to save it as a PDF. Now I re I'm ready to have my file ready to upload to Moodle. So I'm going to show you how to do that.